Hi guys, my name is Jon from Restoration of Bike and in this video I'm going to show you how to do some advanced troubleshooting on this, the play in the rear hub of this wheel. Sometimes um, uh, uh, adjusting the cup and cone manually with the wheel not in the frame just won't do it. I have created a video how to overhaul your rear hub and I've also created a video about to remove play in a rear bicycle wheel. But this wheel just kept driving me nuts. So I decided to remove the play with the wheel in place. And to do that, I had to remove the cassette as well because there just wasn't enough room for me to fine tune the uh, cone. So the first thing I had to do was remove the cassette. For that, you need a chain whip and a special lock run removal tool. With the rear wheel in place, now there's enough space to uh, put the cone rents in place and then test for play. In my case, you could see I'm tightening the cone and then loosen it a couple of steps, like you know, 1 15th of 360 degrees to see when the play is reintroduced in the wheel. Um, and that's when you know exactly that the cone is tight enough on the bearings in this free hop. So if you're happy about the result, obviously you need to um, tighten the cone by tightening the nut and then reinstalling the cassette. I have to say that you can also, if you don't tighten the nut, you can tighten it, actually tighten it by tightening the skewer. If you feel there still is too much play in the rear wheel. But in my case, I fixed this this way, was happy with the result, and could ride again without damaging the rear hub.